It was the tumble we all saw on the world stage. A hostile encounter by a head of state with her own high-heeled shoes. So ABC Sharon Alfonsi asked around, are they worth it? She's the first female prime minister of Australia. Accomplished, well-spoken, but not the above the one thing all women know. Stilettos and soggy grass don't mix. Oh. And it's the third footwear fiasco for the prime minister. She's certainly not the first woman to fall head over heels so publicly. Cue sex in the city. Remember Carrie Bradshaw's catwalk tumble? Oh my God, she's fashion roadkill. Runways are littered with roadkill. Wobbles, tumbles, and wipeouts. <laughs> At Heathrow Airport, Lady Gaga showed she wasn't the practical rolling luggage type and ended up rolling her ankles. But for the rest of us, why do we bother when we know it can end like this? The man behind those skyscraping red soles, hey. Christian Labouton, explained it to me like this. Some women are not completely comfortable with their body. Mm -hmm. And even if you're not really comfortable with your body, you are comfortable with your feet. At the time, I was six months pregnant, so he proved it to me. Hello, lovers. I think I just lost five pounds in 10 years. <laughs> Fabulous. When you're talking seven-inch heels, practicality really isn't the point. I don't want these shoes to appear as comfortable shoes. They're it's not meant exactly. to be Birkenstocks. <laughs> exactly. Okay. But with those higher heels come higher risks and the lesson. Looking good is the easy part. It's what you do after the fall that really counts. Sharon Alfonsi, ABC News, New York.